Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and we are really getting through these menu books quite nicely now. We are into the 30s and today we are looking at menu book number 31 in which we are off to acquire a collection of Porsche 911s or is it Porsche 911s? I did ask previously but I'll do it again in the comments. Please let me know your opinion of whether it is Porsche or Porsche. So we're heading off to Europe and we've got three races, one at Spa, one at the Nürburgring, and then we head over to the Autodrome Lago Maggiore. I think that is pronounced in Italy. So three cracking races to get three brilliant cars. And the first one, we're going to head off to Maggiore and we are up against 911s in the race as our rivals and it looks like uh, i'm going to be running with the 911 gt3 that we acquired recently um i've either got that or the the cayman i think it's, it's a, no i can't remember what it is the the white electric one but i think it's going to be this uh, this 911 that we'll go with um we've got racing hard tires on uh, whether that's going to be a disadvantage to us or not, I am not sure. But hopefully we will be able to push through the pack from 16th to get first place. And I'll remind you that we are on uh, the normal setting for this, where we are getting through these cards relatively quickly. Um, I have done a couple on hard, and it, there's a big jump up from normal to hard. Uh, so I've just dropped back to normal to round out the rest of these menus so immediately past one car then we pass two so scything our way through these pretty quickly and just up the inside of that one we'll take that one on the right hand side i really just need to call out the colors because these are all 911s so this black one we'll do on the inside breaking heavily into this corner can we get it slowed down Normally take a load of curb there, but I've got way too deep. Just managed to keep it off the grass. Uh, I would have been better off just cutting in behind uh, that car rather than trying to make a move down into the braking zone. The one in front is getting a little bit sideways. We've got a little bit of room. Managed to get across to the curb, back onto the left for loads of curb here. Super fast. So much quicker than the purple one, but you need to jump across the curve on the inside. Nearly clump at the back of the red one. Crikey, Mitchell, what are you doing? That was so quick through there. How on earth did we not collect either of those two forces? Breaking down into here, getting it down into third gear, turning, loads of curb, up the hill. Let's just calm down a little bit. Calm down. Okay, we'll take third gear through here just see where this blue Porsche is going We're on the right hand side take the curb here drift out to the left hand side we've got two Porsches together do we take them do we let them go let, no let's let's just let them go and just try and follow the white one through the gap opens up we take it down the right hand side and just keep it all gathered up haven't got the radar on to see that I had cleared them. Thankfully, we didn't do a Mitchell Morgan move. Uh, the weather's looking okay at the moment. Uh, we took a load of curb onto this straight uh, and we can get those three done in quick succession to take second place. Not quite sure where the leader is. The leader has absolutely run away. We've gone way too deep. Oh, just about managed to get that slow down, but way too deep into there. Third gear, let's get it turned around. Get the power back on. Up into, let's see if it's in third actually. Yeah, see if it's in third. Screaming second for this corner. We are just going to drop down to second. That was in danger of going a little bit wide. Totally missed the apex on that corner. And we just need to calm down. Uh, I'm minded that the second place car is a good five and a half seconds down the road. We've got five laps to do this in still missing the apex uh, we did manage to close up significantly during that corner but it wasn't a great corner if I am perfectly honest uh, we'll just take that curb take this curb oh took an awful lot of curb there a lot more than I meant to 
just trying to get on the back of this Porsche. I mean, it's, we're only on the second lap. I really don't, we'll slow down a bit. I really don't need to do it that fast. I think that was a little bit untidy. It could have been a lot smoother. Um, so, but that yellow Porsche seems such a long, long way. Let's just get this turned in. It's, it's, it's right there. Oh, coming back at me under braking. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, driving and totally lost my thought and got through what I was talking about. So let's just get back onto this race. So just want to try and build a little bit of a gap to the car behind now, just calming it down a little bit. So uh, one point, let's get around these corners. It's almost become one long corner, that one. Oh, and the grass got a bit wide. Oh, and they come across the other side of the grass. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, a nightmare. A uh, quick look behind. We've just come into this last corner. Angle's all wrong. We take loads of curve. We really, really, really need to settle the nerves right now. We are 1.4 seconds ahead as we go across the park's park finish line for the third lap. And we really need to calm down. So that's better. Broke earlier. Got it turned in. Turned in nicely for that one. Second gear up into third very quickly we go third gear across the curve here we don't need to go second just across to the left down into second to get it turned in across the curb there just get it up into third as quick as we can and run down the hill quick look behind up into fourth thinking about our breaking point and our turning point for this corner we've got it all wrong thus far down into third gear try and get it across the apex we still miss the apex so uh, we could be doing a lot better through that corner uh, but we are building a gap now we're up to let's just get through this little complex a little bit wide there over that curb that's good over this curb lots of curb on that one let it drift out get it straightened up so quick look uh five six seconds margin at the moment uh, so probably okay if we would have a spin not that we're going to have a spin not that we're going to have a spin we're going to try and keep this as clean as we can to so break it into here down into third gear turning it in still not taking enough of that curve not quite got that line correct out to the right hand side sweep across we take loads of curve here just running that white uh, white patch take the curve here nice through there fourth gear come down into third for this one just turning it in no real need for second no real dramas right now just keep it turning keep it turning get ourselves lined up for this corner what's the sausage curve we really take the curb enough on that one up to fourth get down at the third for this corner sweep across that curb out to the right hand side and then over the start and finish line for the start of another lap so we're into fourth lap and um, nearly 10 seconds ahead. We can get slowed down nice and early. A better turn in, loads of curb, much better line for this second part of the corner. Enables us to go, actually we lost a bit of time through there. So although that was nice, it probably slower. Um, let's get over there, it turned in. Oh, a bit deep again on that corner. Or put us wide almost onto the red area there come on so we are back up to 11 seconds so yeah although it felt okay that first corner it was actually a lot slower that might need some looking at again we're not gonna hit the apex so oh, that was better but very late a disastrous exit i thought we were going to visit the wall there the back went lights managed to catch it but very sloppy um this is going to be race win I think at 11 seconds ahead um, but not a tidy lap by any any stretch of the imagination just make sure we apex those curves through there I love that little section one of my favorite sections on this particular track oh loads of air loads of air thank we we managed to get that slowed down oh boy that caught me out Lots of areas we went over the top there, really slammed the suspension on the landing. No harm done. 
thankfully we were keeping that in a straight line. I don't think what we were doing if we were at, at an angle. Okay, just thinking about this corner. Don't mess it up. Just get it turned in a little bit, a little bit too far over to the left. Really didn't get that line at all. Okay, that was better. Get it back across. Careful of the sausage. We were riding the sausage. <laughs> just getting a little bit leery right now. We're up to 16 seconds. Quick look there. Let's get this turned in. Uh, so we'll be 16 seconds ahead at the moment. So loads and loads and loads of time in hand here. I don't really need to be taking a lot of these chances. I want to try and push this lap and I pushed it way too hard into that first corner. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Uh, I want to push this lap because it is a track that I know and I want to try and get better times in different vehicles. Uh, but really not got the a bit wide there, not really getting the measure of this Porsche. So, come on, let's just try and get the measure of this Porsche. Try and get the braking zones better, the turning points better, and a better exit speed. I mean, we're out to 17 seconds right now. So, again, a little bit too far over to the left for that corner. We could be taking a lot more of that curve, an awful lot more of that curve. It's all about how we come into that corner. I'm obviously coming into it too quick, too deep. Uh, it's a bit too quick as well. Managed to get it slowed down for the second. Better on the third. Let it drift out. That's a better line. You can come right across that uh, that white line there. Quite happy with that. That was okay. It was a bit better. Uh, got the time out to 18 and a half seconds, nearly 19 seconds now. Oh, down the hill, lots of air again. Buried a brake pedal almost as soon as we uh, we get the front landed. Get it turned in. Again, not overly happy with that particular turn. In could have been a lot better. Lots of curve. This is a uh, this is quite a nice little section. Brave through here. Oh, just packed off a little bit. Could normally have gone through there flat, but felt I needed to lift a little bit. This far ahead, there's no point in taking chances. That was better. Keep it turning. Keep it turning over that one whoa a bit too much over that particular curb keep it going that's not too bad yeah a little bit a uh, little bit too much curb on that one uh, get break turn in over this last curb and we're going to have a run to the line for a 23 22 23 second lead we're going to push 24 not sure that's a little bit scrappy it wasn't quite as clean as I would have liked, if I'm perfectly honest, uh, I feel that that could have been a much cleaner race, uh, not one of my finest hours, uh, but 105,000 prize money is not to be sneezed at, a lovely clean race bonus, uh, which made quite a, a bit of difference to that, and should be happy, love the car, that prize car, it's the first of the 911 Carreras uh, acquired. Uh, yeah, should have been a bit happier with that, uh, bear in mind it was a clean race, but I, I thought there was too many mistakes once I got out in front. It wasn't quite as clean as I would have liked. So, let's measure you're done. Let's just uh, come out of there and we will head over to Spa. Let's leave the Nurbo ring till last. Uh, again, we need third place or higher. Spa, again, another track that we know. And we should be able to have a clean race here, so long as we don't get up to any shenanigans. Keep it clean. Keep it quick. But keep it clean. That's the main thing. So we know that we've got a really tight right-hander into this first corner. So I'm going to stay behind. And uh, middle of the track there should probably been over to the right a little bit, but wanted to get a good line out of that corner to get the first 911 turbo. We should be able to get this RS on the way down the hill. Probably not the blue one. I think we all, well, it's a green one actually. Whoa, oh, crikey, that was an opportunity that uh, I didn't see coming, and that, that was a, a, just a reaction. Carried loads of speed down this straight, which means we've done that weird pink colored Le Mans. Uh, but wow wow through a rouge that was that was sweet i enjoyed that 
So we get this GT3 into the braking zone. So just as we got past the car, just watching the radar to make sure that we have actually made the move. And we go through there quite nicely, watching our braking points, hugging these green bits with the bollards. We'll get this red one on the right hand side. We'll just tuck in behind these two for the moment and see where they are going to go. Um, there's no overtaking really point through here. That door is going to close. So we'll switch to the inside with the old switcheroo. Up into third gear. Blue one nicely done. Orange one we're going to catch on this corner. We might be able to go down the outside if we're brave. I uh, just needed to back out of that a little bit. It has opened up and we can go by. Uh, same with this grey one. We should be able to get that one on the outside too. That's nicely done. Get it slowed down. Third into second for this corner. Back up to third. Just chose second just to get it turned in. Third for the actual corner. Oh, we're drifting a bit wide onto the gravel. Carry that through. Don't do it. Oh, squirming around everywhere. That's as messy as you like. Oh, my word. Okay. Uh, second gear to calm it all down. I need to calm down. Um, oh, my gosh. I've got to concentrate. I can't talk. Uh, where are we? Um, up to fourth. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I did just fall through there. That was um, that was heart in the mouth stuff. That was. Let's just keep this uh, keep this nice and sweet through here. That's better. We'll watch out for the white line as we come under here. Bury the brake pedal. Up the white line. That's reasonably okay. It turned in. Up over the curbs. No, oh, don't spin it round. Oh, oh, come on, you know not to do that. Oh, I do that occasionally if I get the wrong gear or a bit too much speed. So that's that's not helpful against the three cars that are in front of us but we are on the second of five laps we've got loads and loads and loads of time um, whoa that's going round club at the wall wasn't thinking wasn't concentrating too much talking not enough driving and a quick visit to the wall is not good that's probably just blown our clean race bonus right there Thra Rouge come on be brave up over the top no. <laughs> oh, oh what are you doing oh you don't need to be doing that we've got so much time I know not to take a rouge like that oh, that was awful okay three into one doesn't go here two into one doesn't go here so they just will line stern I'll just uh, Calm down a little bit, stick behind these two for the moment, wait for an opportunity to open up. Uh, door's not opening up just yet, so we can do that one on the end side. Can we get the black one in the end side? Now it's always going to close off. Oh, we're breaking mid corner again, he's, 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 uh, he's catching me out a little bit. Can we go around the outside here? Uh, is that going to close up? A slight nudge. I think we made that one stick. I think that was our corner. We are clear of the black one. So we've got one more to do. This yellow one, which is down the road. We should be able to get through this corner quite nicely. I really ought to know the names of these corners by now. And as we come down towards the right, left, just, just pick, pick our overtaking points. Be careful. Oh, nearly rear-ended him. That was a bit better. Um, we can go right hand side, bury the brake pedal, get it turned in second gear, put a little bit of engine braking over the curb, let it run out up into third. We could stay with third through here, stay with third through this bit at the moment, up into fourth gear now. Just pushing on, pushing on. Let's just go fit, using a bit of the green area. That's going to let me go wide. Oh, I felt a back end going there. Force feedback on the steering wheel went light. I can feel that going. But it slowed down. Second gear, let's try not to spin it this time. It's a little bit more careful how we put the accelerator down. Just feathering through there. That's better. And come on, get up to speed. We go across the line. Bit slow off that last corner. Um, puts us three. 
seconds ahead of the car behind. So all very deep into there. Didn't apex that one at all. Braking a little bit too late while I was looking at the uh, the distance between us and the car behind. At Spa, you've really got to concentrate on the driving. Um, really, just uh, no over again. Come on, you can do better than that. I'm minded that I want to try and put some distance between me and the car behind, just in case I spin it. Um, but not happy with Eau Rouge and yeah, just talking while I'm driving. I need to drive first and commentate, commentate a little bit more uh, cautiously and uh, just get, get through these corners and maybe commentate on some of the, the longer straights. It's the braking at the beginning of the curve, second gear, get it turned in over the top there. Just watching those bollards, using those as markers. Up into the third, over to the right side, second for this corner. Again, watching for those bollards. This is nice. Third gear coming down the hill. Just watching that we don't run too wide on this one. The beginning of the curb, down into the third, bit of braking. Nicely apex, let it run out to the right hand side, bring it back across the left of this apex, back out to not quite to the far right there, but we're going to break at the beginning of the chair broke a little bit before the curbs there. Bit too cautious. I'm just minded that the weather is coming in a little bit here. It's looking a little bit grey up there. Um, we're on the the radar radar, but I'm not going to play around with the controls whilst I'm negotiating these corners. Just trying to get the weather radar on. And, oh, there we go. Um, not the best place to to try and negotiate them and pass, but um, okay. Weather looks fine at the moment, so let's keep pushing. Fifth gear through here, using the curb down at the fourth, just to lose a bit of speed. So we didn't get too wide on the exit as we did that uh, before. Under the bridge, white line, third down into second. Engine braking and braking turned in over the curb. Over the next one, it's better. Try and get back onto the power. And try and get off the line. Feel slow again. Up into third. Run down into the first corner. So this is now lap four of five. Two to go. But let's just get this turned in. Come on. Ooh, a little bit wide. Uh, weather radar. Looks like we are okay at the moment. Uh, it's looking a little bit brighter up there as we come down towards Eau Rouge. Watching for the braking point, just lose a bit of speed off the accelerator, back on as we go up the hill, just introducing the accelerator over the top. That's how to do a rouge. That's better. That's better. So, um, well, nearly 12 seconds ahead of the second place person at the moment. So we're borderline okay for a spin. Don't really want to have a spin, so we'll just break a little bit early into this little chicane here, riding the curb over to the left, third gear through here, just riding that curb to just run it up to fourth gear very briefly, down into third, just getting it turned in, uh, okay, don't really need second, third is all right through there, just uh, down into second for this one, just to get it turned in, then straight on the power up into third, up into fourth, don't go too wide on this one, so breaking at the beginning of the curve into third, just to balance the car, lots of curve, let it drift out, that's better, apex that one, and actually you can just let it run out, watching for the breaking point here, bang, just before the 50 into the third, just turning it in over the curves, third gear's looking good, it's looking great up there again, Third gear kept it nicely balanced through there. That was good. Up to it's next, nearly 16 seconds ahead. A quick look there before we hit that braking zone. So second gear, third gear. Just carry that speed through there. Just keep on pushing. Come on, be brave. Fourth gear, accelerating all the way down the hill here. Underneath the boarding there. Come on, just. Don't go too wide here. No, oh, I just knew it was going to do that. Ah, oh, let's get this turned in. 
over that curb. No, don't go round, don't go. Oh, come on. What are you doing, Mitchell? What am I doing? Not good at all. Just had um, all these menu books. I just had a few really sloppy races. Once I get out in front, I just, I think just try to push too hard. Breaking too late. I just, um, I think once I get these menu books done, I'm going to drop into the second experience and just do the sectors. And, just work a little bit more on these tracks before I go online racing with friends and other people because I'm going to be running into the back of people into corners if I continue to drive like this and that is going to get me into all sorts of trouble or I'm going to be braking too late running too wide and just letting people through either way when I go online this is just going to be terrible although let's get through there although it has been said to me that the best way to learn racecraft is to get through here. Let's take a look at that one. Keep it turned in. Yeah, one of the best ways of learning racecraft is to race. And racing against real people is a great education. Uh, if you can learn whilst you're racing. Um, so I'm going to get this turned in. Of course, yeah, I'm basically a, normally a C rated driver. When I do go online with this profile, when I, when, I, when I do race on this profile, I'm going to be right the way down as a, an E or a D. Oh, slow down way too slow for there. Um, the weather looks fine. It's just, just, this car just seems to have gone a little bit slippy. I've got racing hards on, so I haven't quite got the grip that I would normally have with the mediums. Uh, they're not wearing at all, according to the wear meter, but so it just seems to have gone a little bit slippery for the moment. So I'm just taking a little bit more cautiously through here. I don't really want to have a big off at this point. Uh, we are 24 seconds ahead, so a spin wouldn't be the end of the world. We're going off again through there. Just really, I think I'm getting tired. I think getting a little bit tired and really just need to oh, possibly time for a break you can quite spend that caught that one but very 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 untidy uh, not my finest hour at spa i mean the porsche is normally a, a nice car to drive um just not really feeling it at the moment um maybe a bit of fatigue is kicking in been a long day so there's the uh, nice red Carrera that we've got our uh, 1992 so we've got the 95 and the 92 nice RS I prefer them with the spoilers on the back if I'm honest um, some people like the clean lines I prefer it with the spoiler be interested in your thoughts in the comments do you prefer the you know the big spoilers on the back of the Porsche or Porsches, or do you prefer the you know, cleaner lines along the line that we have just won? Um, I mean the Porsche that we're about to win, uh, that grey one, I, I absolutely adore. It's probably one of my favourite of all of the Porsches. This 911 Turbo, 1981. Now it's a beautiful car. It looks stunning. The Spoiler on the back is just to die for. It's, it's lovely. I love that. Uh, I should probably have done this race first of all and then done the rest of the races in that car, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, but we are we're sticking with this one. We're now on the Nürburgring, a track that I absolutely adore, but one that I am still trying to get my head around. Uh, just getting into the and again, just getting through the back of this blue car. Uh, we could be going a lot faster through here, Black Mate. Come on, come on. Okay, do you down the inside? Um, yeah, the AI very, very slow through there. Um, so a little bit of, of BTC style nudging going on. And uh, just get, uh, get turning over there. Second gear just through there, just for some stability up into the third. 
going to go to the right of this one. Oh, is he going to close? That gap's going to close. Need to back out of that. I want to keep this clean if I can. Loads of overtaking opportunities here. Uh, I imagine this is probably going to be a seven minute race, something like that. And we are 35 seconds behind. Careful through here. This is a place where I often manage to put it on the grass. So they slow down. Don't get into the back of these two. Oh, opportunity on the inside. Oh, that was a bit iffy. Managed to make it stick. Oh, very wobbly. Oh, I thought I was going to pay a visit to the grass. That's the grass area just on the right hand side before that curve. Uh, before that corner that um, I very often take a visit to and nearly did there. Thankfully, we managed to keep that together. I love this section, really quick through here. Uh, nice that we didn't have any cars to overtake. Fallen nicely for the blue one on the outside. Get it slowed down. Oh, that's going to go round. Ah, I didn't get that slowed down enough. Ah, I thought that that was a beautiful move. I'm afraid that my talent completely ran out towards the end of that move. Uh, that's a shame. That's probably done any clean race bonus. But for me, getting a clean race bonus around here at the moment is highly, highly unlikely. Uh, what I just want to do is to close down this 27 gap, 27 second gap to the leader. Uh, so that's uh, ninth, sorry, eighth. Oh, just ran into the back of the red one. A little love tap on the way through. Unsettled him, which enabled us to come through. Was that fair? Was that not? Again, like your opinion. Just keep it to the right there. We're going to go to the right of the pink one. Still not sure of the colour of that pink blancmange. Oh, that's a bit quick. Just about. Oh, just about managed to get that slope down. Oh, on the grass here. That's some tidy. Oh, I'm just so aware that there's a long way to go, but so much time that needs to be made up. Uh, it's borderline being quick and borderline being stupid and crashing it. Uh, okay, whoa, where's the silver one going? One's going here, down the outside or oh, inside? Inside. <laughs> While I'm driving, and I can't think of my outsides and insides right now. Left and right. Yeah, let's get turned in. That's fine. Uh, the gears, I'm just feeling at the moment. I'm not really able to call them out um, before. It, it's really the gears I'm feeling are right. Uh, no burgering for me at the moment is all a bit deep there. It's all about feel. I, I, I haven't got the track in my head as to what corner's coming up next, how tight it is, what speed I should be. It's something that I need to do weather's coming in it's something that I need to do is to learn the track inside out and then I'll be able to get my speed up significantly uh, I've never yet done gold for full lap on the circuit experience here um, at least I don't think I ever have uh, I might be lying but I don't think I've done it uh, sector's fine but it's not the not the actual full lap and uh, we've got uh, some rain at the moment and we've got this rain is coming in heavier and we're on racing cards, which is not the tyres to be on around the Nordschleife. Uh, come on. We're really not on the right tyres if this weather is going to keep up. At the moment we are reasonably okay. It's holding the road. So if you come into the carousel, just follow this white one through. Oh, he's jumped out of the carousel. I stayed in. He's come back in. Oh, that's that's cost me a few tenths. I'm going to go into. Oh, no, it's back out of that one. It's, this white one. I'm just not confident at the moment out of this weather. Um, I just don't want to take a lunge and find that we're on something that's wet and slippery. You can see the car in front sliding around. The back of my car is sliding around as well. There's just little, little corrections going on all the time right now. Where are you two going? Oh, just stay there. Oh, just. Oh, we're 10 seconds to the car in first place. So we as a group are catching them. The white car gets past the black. Can I follow the white one through? Yes, I think we can. 
where the radar on, so you needed to make sure I didn't do a Mitchell, Morgan Mitchell move there. Ooh. Oh, now you can see the rain. Now the rain's coming. We got, oh, no braking, sliding, sliding. You can see the spray coming off the car in front. This is really slippery now. This is really slippery. I need to get past this car. Been behind him for way too long. A slight nudge there, that opens the door. All borderline illegal move. That's classic British touring car. But we have managed to open the door and got through. I'm going to have to be brave down here. This is wet and slippery. Let's get this slope down. Turned in. How far are we away from the cars in front? I can't look. I've got to get through here. Look at the top. Just concentrating for the moment. Third gear. Let's just slow it down for this one. I'm going to go second gear just to loosen speed. Could have gone through there quicker, but just feeling the track all the time at the moment. Okay, we see the cars in front. Uh, they are four or five seconds ahead. Uh, no, why am I looking at the time? Oh, I'm looking at the time and didn't get back to the track quick enough. Forget the time between me and the cars in front. This weather's coming back in again. The track is wet. Let's get back to this little carousel. That's okay, you can see the spray coming off of the car in front. This is... It's, it's actually... It's, it's, this Porsche I'm in is actually fairly... Oh, no. I was just going to say it's fairly, fairly well planted. I tried to push it a little bit too much. And bang, we got, uh, we got it a bit sideways. So, uh, yeah, don't underestimate the track. Just because you slowed it up a bit and you've got traction does not mean to say that that traction is going to hold throughout. Now, this is going to be interesting. We are two seconds away from the car in front. There are, operate, there are overtaking opportunities at the bottom here if you are brave. The AI is slower, but look at the wind. Look at the spray. Oh, just held that one. Really going sideways. That was... See, this is the overtaking opportunities, but am I brave enough? Can, are we going to be at, oh, can we pull this off? Have we pulled that off? Are we past? Are we past? No, we've gone too deep. Onto the grass. No, come on, get off the grass and he's through. Ah, uh, no. I think that this is going to be a second place. Oh, just didn't manage it at the end of the lap threw it away oh look at the state of my car lost it right at the end which is pushing too hard and yeah it was wet the car was sliding everywhere at one point i felt that it was settled and nice and grippy but alas it wasn't i, I overestimated the conditions and just pushed it a little bit too hard threw away first place but we we need the third or higher so we still get the car and that puts us close to the next level uh -huh. oh that was a shame that was a shame this is going to be job done as far as the menu book is concerned but i would have liked to have got first uh, i do love this porsche on this track and i'm completely shattered after that run uh, took a lot more out of me than I thought actually I'm, I, I often skip these replays uh, forgive me I'll put chapter markings in the video skip this if you wish to uh, but I'm just going to enjoy this replay round the Nordschleife nicely sliding there uh, yeah the replay around the Nordschleife uh, in this 911 GT3 and mixing it with a number of other GT3s and this was a battle from start to finish this was not one of those races where I just ran away with it uh, this was a case of picking off these cars as best we could uh, I had a couple of little errors which is uh, which obviously has cost us the clean race but it was nice to actually be on it all the way through this race 
rather than getting to the front and then just running away. Or oh, lovely little dabber brakes to set all the car on through there. Big squirm on the way out. Burying the brake pedal and watch the front of that car hitting the tarmac. That was a nice move around the outside. Why can I not do moves like that all of the time? We'll move on this red one again, nicely timed. Wish I could just do pull. If I could just pull moves off like that all the time, I'd be so happy. That one was a little bit dicey. Yeah, oh well, sideways. I would have been better off backing off, staying behind that blue one again. A hit like that really should be game over. I should not be running. That car should be on the back of a recovery truck now. And I should be having to start this race again. Unfortunately, Gran Turismo lets you continue. And continue, we will. So, blue one overtaken. Coming down onto this, uh, these two. But we're having a little bit of a squabble, if I remember rightly. Decided to try and go down the inside. We got the yellow one, got onto the back of the black one. A little bit of a rub. We managed to open the door and we went through. The the little rubbing, the little love touch to open the doors, the little rubbing of doors just to keep the door open, as it were. Um, I don't have a problem with that style of driving. I like that old 1980s. Oh, that was terrible. I like these old 1980s, 1990s style of, of touring car racing. It does not go down well. It does not wash when you are racing against real people. They get very angry about it and invariably you'll find yourself being punted off for I don't mind if somebody does the same thing to me, like taps and little door rubbing. I don't mind that at all. I see that as racing. Some people just come pairing up behind you, punt you off. Uh, so um, you do have to be very, very, very careful. But racing against the AI, you can get away with it. So at this point, I cannot remember where we are. Uh, we've got a bit of clean air and just enjoying this run at the moment. I think Gran Turismo 7 really does these replays really, really well. You get the option to look at the what I refer to as the TV camera view that we've got now. You can obviously dive inside the car. You can follow the car. You can have camera in the front of the car you know it's lots and lots and lots of different views um, you can be moving backwards and forwards through the different cars but I do like for just relaxing just taking this sort of TV view as it were and just looking at my lines looking at where I'm catching apexes and where I'm not so you know you find Two corners ago, nice apex. That was not such a good apex. This one was a nice apex, just running out to the side. This is where the rain started to come down. See, that was quite nice through there. That was nice. And I tended to just back off a little bit once the rain started to calm down. Then I was minded that the first place driver was just getting so far away that I needed to push it and I took far too long trying to get past this white one I should really have been braver possibly into here um, I just just got past but um, the rain was a concern and I think it's this section of the race that really lost me the win as, as well as overcooking it at the end, the mistake at the end, that, that would miss, undoubtedly uh, cost me the race. But I think the amount of time that I was caught up behind this white car, it's just costing me so much time. They're really starting to rain now. So we followed the white ones through there. Again, still, still tucked up behind this white car. I think we did end up giving it a bit of a tap to get through in the end. Um, but again, just, just not getting past quickly enough. So closing up, lining up for an overtake. Again, not having the confidence. Going in the inside under the uh, under braking. Managed to get that done this side. So I don't think it was a, um, 
I don't think that it was a tap. It was a clean overtake, but how many seconds did I lose? And then I've realised I've really got to get on with this now. Uh, the, the car in front is so far away. I've got to get on with it. So with the rain, I'm thinking, how cautious can I be? I did actually realise that the white car was so close behind and pushing here. Um, so, I'm so close to losing that position again. Focusing on the yellow car in front. Um, going off there, that let the white one back through. Although we did actually manage to keep it behind. I thought we'd let the white car through, but uh, thankfully we didn't. Otherwise we could have really had problems. Uh, so that again has not helped our uh, attempts to catch up and overtake the yellow car. The rain doesn't look to be so bad through here, but again, it's deceiving. That was where I felt that uh, it was okay and clearly not. Um, very, very scrappy. It gave the white car an opportunity to come right back at us again. We then get the long straight where really I needed to be closer to the yellow car, pick up a slipstream and catch him down here. It didn't happen. I, I'd really made too many mistakes in that section leading up to the straight. Uh, and I think it's just a combination, a culmination of lots of little errors that have really taken this race away from me. No really big spins, I haven't gone round 360 or anything. And we managed to get it up the inside here and that should really have been job done. I needed to have settled it down here, but no, we got on a wet bit, outbraked ourselves into the barrier again. Lucky not to lose second place, if I'm perfectly honest. And then we just brought that around to get second, second place. So yeah, not my greatest wet weather race, but not too disappointed. We did meet the challenge and that is the Nürburgring Nordschleife ticked off. And all three of our Porsches acquired. So let's uh, go back to the cafe. Um, as well as the cars, I can't remember what other rewards, if any, that we get. So those are our three Porsche Carreras 911s. That's our 911 collection done. And we've got the Circuit de Saint Croix. That is, that's how you pronounce that one. That is available to us. Uh, looks like that's the only benefit to that particular challenge. And Luca is just going to take us through a little bit about these cars. Well, thank you ever so much for watching. If you're still with us, that was quite, uh, quite some racing. Uh, I was sorry not to have got first at the Nürburgring, but it doesn't always go your way. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications of more videos coming very soon. If you are a subscriber and you're back for more, thank you ever so much for supporting the channel. It is very, very much appreciated. And please join me for the next video, which will be coming very soon. For now, I am completely shattered. I'm calling it a day. Bye-bye.